Last November, we caught up with two environmentalists who were water sampling for microbeads from Cayuga Lake toward Albany, checking for the levels of pollution locally. You know, going through the heart of upstate New York and showing people, hey, look, this is your backyard. You know, are you going to let these companies keep polluting your backyard like that? Their water samples have been analyzed now at a lab at SUNY Fredonia. And the results show, yes, there is microbead pollution in our waterways, a lot of it in Cayuga Lake, Oneida Lake, the Erie Canal, and the Mohawk River. It's pretty technical, but they found concentrations of microbeads in 70% of the samples, very large amounts in Cayuga and Oneida Lakes. I spoke with Christian Shaw this afternoon. He's now in Hawaii doing similar research and tells us that because the water was rough through most of their sampling here, the pollution levels may be even higher than they've confirmed because microbeads tend to float up on smooth water. The concern that the beads magnify toxins that we know are in the water, like PCBs. And what occurs is some fish eats the bead, and then you catch the fish. Next thing you know, you're eating a toxic chemical. The Finger Lakes trip was an effort to raise awareness among consumers that there are alternatives to microbeads, but there are also efforts to ban them. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand from New York is leading the effort nationwide. Here in New York, the state assembly passed a bill unanimously last year to ban microbeads. It didn't get through the Senate, but the Senate will reintroduce that legislation this winter. In Syracuse, Laura Hand reporting.